From time to time in every marriage, there are going to be some issues where you bother your husband, you irritate your husband, you, you disappoint your husband, or your husband disappoints you or irritates you. Well, we had one of those incidents the other night because my husband is human and every once in a while he's going to do something that really bothers me. Well, that happened. And, you know, wives can react in two different ways. Either a wife will tend to be the kind that just jumps all over that and just shrieks and yells and just criticizes him and points out his faults. Well, I tend to go the other direction, which is not really healthy either, and I tend to stuff it, but I'm really seething res with resentment, and, and I become cold as ice, and I'm not even talking to him anymore, and yeah, well, I kind of went that route. Not good. And I, I just finally just had had it, and I just, I just went to bed early. And as I was laying there, I thought of the verse in the Bible, a verse I should live by. It's Ephesians 4, verses 26 and 27, and it says this, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Hmm. So I laid there for a while, and I thought, I'm probably giving the devil a foothold in our marriage right now by having this, you know, Cold War thing going on, and I haven't even expressed to my husband why I'm disappointed. He just probably can tell something's wrong. And, and so finally, I guess the Holy Spirit convicted me. So I got out of bed, and I went in there, he was sitting on the couch watching ESPN or something, and I, I just kind of sat down, actually just kind of kneeling by his feet as he was on the couch, and and I looked up at him, and I and I it had to be a Holy Spirit thing because I actually just reaffirmed so many of the good things that I just love about him, so many good things he's done, and and then I did tell him what I was disappointed about, and you're probably thinking it ended happily ever after. Well, not exactly. He didn't immediately say you're right, and no, it didn't go that way at all. But you know what? I had done my part. I had done my part. You know, the Bible says, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. I had done my part. I had addressed the issue, gotten rid of the resentment, and I was able to go to bed and sleep peacefully. P.S. The next day, maybe the Holy Spirit worked on my husband because he actually made amends for what had happened the day before. Hmm. Do you think that might have had something to do with the way that God prompted me to not let the sun go down while I'm still angry, to not give the devil a foothold? Do you think that might have had something to do with it? I'm just saying.